Welcome to our Joyful and Merry Quilting 25 Day Christmas Countdown. Each day, we will open Santa's bag filled with either exclusive discounts, tutorials, patterns, tips, and great gift ideas for your 25 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar. And remember, answer the question at the end of each video and you will be entered in our drawing for some great prizes. We have several prizes that we're going to be giving away and you will not want to miss this. You're gonna wanna win. So, let's see what Santa has in his bag for us today. Hi, I'm Mary from Joyful and Mary Quilting, and today is day number 22 of our 25-day countdown to Christmas. So, let's see what's in the bag for today. Ah! This is a favorite item of mine. I have two choices here, and I'm gonna tell you about each one. If you have not watched my Seam Ripper video on our YouTube channel, please watch it. I think we had 85,000 views on it. Everybody wants to know how to deal with a Seam Ripper. How do you do it accurately, safely? How do you get those stitches out of there without pulling your hair out? And that's what my video tells you about. But this tool I found has been really effective in making that just that much easier. Now, people don't realize seam rippers get dull. They need to be replaced. We think we buy a seam ripper and it's good for the rest of our lives, and it's not. Just like a rotary blade needs to be replaced, the more we cut with a seam ripper, it gets dull. And as with a knife or scissors or anything else, if it's gonna get dull, you really increase your chance of injury because you're gonna have to do a little bit more forceful push on the seam ripper or tug, and it could get out of control easily. And the seam ripper has a very sharp point on it, so you wanna be careful. So so it's always important to have a new seam ripper. Now in the video, I talked to you about how to use a seam ripper safely, how to use a seam ripper effectively, and how to add your sewing machine in there to help you out when you do that. So if, again, if you haven't watched that video, take a look. But the two seam rippers that I showed, actually I showed this one, just a regular Dritz seam ripper, but this little beehive looking thing on the end is what is really, I think, worth it. When I purchased my seam ripper, you actually can use this to remove those little threads that are left behind once you've ripped the seam. Because once you have used the seam ripper, you've got all those cut threads and then you have to go through and pick those all out. And what this does, it just works like a little eraser and it goes through. There's no residue that comes off if you were using a regular eraser or you don't have to throw papers away if you were using a lint roller. Everything is right there. It just kind of gathers it up and then you take it off and you throw it in the garbage. It is so slick. Now, there's this one that has just the one. You need to put the cap, it's kind of like a cap, back on the seam ripper and then hang on to it as you're removing those threads. This one is a double-sided seam ripper, so it has the two ends you can use either side and then it hooks together. So it's just a little less cumbersome. You can flip it around easily and you've got the seam ripper showing. And it has two sizes of seam rippers on this one. It has a large one and a small one. Sometimes we need a larger ripper depending on if we're going through some intersections or just a small one if we're just using some straight seams that we're trying to rip out. So this gives us a couple of different options, but I'm telling you, I love these two products. I love the seam ripper. I love knowing how to use it correctly and and I think you will too. So this is a great gift for yourself. They're not expensive. The link to these products are in the description of this video. If you have nothing else, just being able to get rid of a seam without all the headache that we usually go through when we're ripping out a seam is definitely for me worth it. The Dritz Seam Fix or Seam Fixer is what it's called. That's how it's listed. Look down in the comment section and you'll see the links to these two products. If you are interested in winning our drawing for this particular time period, we're going to draw two names this time. One person is going to win our Joyful and Merry mug with this hug -a mug mug rug and snack mat. And another person is going to win the insulated mug with the Christmas colored hug -a mug mug rug and snack mat you can see it's hugging your mug that's why that's where that name came from so if you're interested answer the following question in the comments section to this video one comment per day per person the question is how do you manage and store your fabric stash the growing fabric stash that we all have do you have a special place or a special way of doing it do you have a system or not 
Let us know. Let us know if you're looking for a system. Let us know if you think that would be something that would make a good tutorial. Or if you have one, we want to know that too because we want to know how everybody's doing it. So answer that question. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We are almost near the end, but we are still going strong. We still have some really great prizes, some great gifts coming up. Tune in each day until December 25th so that we can talk about all these great items that would be perfect additions to your advent calendar, your personal advent calendar. I am always trying to be joyful, but I will always be merry. Thank you again for joining me today and we will see you tomorrow.